Hello everyone, I'd like to welcome you back to another Teaching Tuesday. Today's topic is something that we all need every day and especially at a time right now. It's compassion. So what is compassion? Compassion is the motivation we have to go out of our way to help out the people in need, um, whether it be physical, mental, or emotional need. Um, when compassion does lead to action, we often call their salt as kindness. And kindness always includes the intention to benefit the other people. And compassion has a few attributes to it. Um, empathy, value, and language. Compassion can come from empathy, and empathy is about feeling with other people. It's the ability to understand and experience another feel, another's feelings and to respond in ways that help, not hinder. Another attribute is our values. So our behavior, the way we say or do, is influenced by our values. And the last one is language. Language plays a big part in compassion. So your tone and your body language does have an impact on how you can interact with a person and how that person can perceive your act of kindness. So there are many benefits to using compassion. So first is acts of service stimulates the brain's pleasure pathways and makes you feel good. Uh, second one is helping others is contagious um, and improves other people's lives as well. Third is compassion makes you a happier person. Compassion builds stronger and great social connections. And another one would be compassion improves your physical health as well. Here are seven ways to bring more compassion to your life. Accept disagreements and differing opinions. Differences is a part of what makes our world such a cool and interesting place. Debating viewpoints on a particular topic is intellectually healthy and can be quite enjoyable. However, there is a difference between becoming co combative, verbally, sometimes physically, and debating. Listen. To be compassionate means not to just hear, but to listen to others. Making it a point to look someone in their eyes and let them know throughout the conversation that you are listening. Empathize with others. Put yourself in their shoes. Look at the world through their eyes. Volunteer for the greater purpose. The biggest differences in the world are often made through groups of determined volunteers. Advocating and volunteering through the giving, through the giving of yourself and your time is a special kind of compassion. Demonstrate acceptance. To demonstrate acceptance doesn't necessarily mean that you agree with someone. Rather, you accept someone out of respect for the dignity of that individual's humanity. It means the simple recognition and appreciation for our differences. Practice acts of kindness. Practice doing something small each and every day to make someone else's life better. These act of, acts of kindness don't require anything besides a willingness to act for the benefit of someone else. Commitment to a morning ritual of gratitude. Taking a small amount of time in the morning to appreciate life and what you've been given is a great springboard into practicing compassion throughout the day. Being compassionate to others greatly benefits us and also as our, um, our society. But don't forget to be compassionate to yourself as well and that's what self-compassion is. Self-compassion is the extension of kindness, care, warmth and understanding instead of put downs and criticism towards oneself when faced with shortcomings, inadequacies and other like failures. Self-compassion is also the ability to acknowledge suffering, being experienced and the motivation and the willingness to do something with it. Um, it also involves courage, so to notice and acknowledge strength, which to stay present with your hurting and not turning away from it. Um, wisdom, to know how to decrease your suffering in a healthy way, and commitment, uh, acting to improve your well-being. So I'll walk you through a little mindfulness activity that you can do to be more compassionate towards yourself. So first, you're going to have to find a space where you're comfortable and alone, if you'd like, and take a few deep breaths and think of a situation in your life that is, has been difficult um, or causing you stress. Uh, it doesn't have to be the worst moment in your life, but just something that's making you, um, or it's causing you discomfort. So like right now with coronavirus and schools are closed and people are losing their jobs. So it's a lot of frustration and causing quite a bit of stress. 
Um, so when you think of this situation, can you feel an exper the experience in your body, perhaps a discomfort such as a um, tightfulness and tightness in the chest or um, just a gripping in the stomach? Now say to yourself, in this moment, a part of me is struggling. So that's mindfulness. And you might choose to say, whoa, this really sucks or this feels awful or this is stress. And say to yourself again, this struggle is a part of life. This is common humanity and lots of people are struggling in the same way. You might choose to say, other people feel this way too, or I'm not alone in this feeling. Now offer yourself a kind and soothing, supportive touch. So it could be a hand to your heart or whatever gesture that feels right for you. From there, feel the warmth of your hand going through your body. Now saying this to yourself, may I be kind to myself. Remembering that as people, we go through so many tough situations and it's always a nice reminder to be gentle with oneself. For more personal language, you can ask yourself, what do I need to hear right now? Or if you have trouble finding the words, you can always ask, what would I say to a good friend who's going through the, this same situation? Or can I say those words to myself? A few phrases could be, may I give myself the, the compassion that I need? May I accept myself as I am? May I learn to accept myself as I am? May I forgive myself? May I be strong? May I be safe? May I be peaceful? May I know that I deserve love? And if the may I feel so a little strange and you just like, you feel like you're asking permission, you can always leave that out and just say, I wish to accept myself as I am. Or just strong. Or accept myself. Or I know that I deserve love. Simply notice how you're feeling when you say those phrases to yourself. I hope this activity will help you become more compassionate to, what, to yourself. And don't forget to be kind and compassionate to others as well. Thank you. Have a great day.